All right, here's the wire, 28 gauge, 100 foot, off of Amazon. I think I paid five five dollars for that. And then here's Wick. I got three quarter inch. I paid a dollar too much for this. Well, actually twice as much because someone had this is also off Amazon. Someone had a two pack of this, but it wasn't gonna arrive till Wednesday, and I'm impatient. So I only didn't need two packages. It was just a better deal. So I'm just going to get, so I bought this one instead because it was going to arrive today. Okay. And then I have Harbor Freight screws. Garbage. But for this, I'm taking this level of screw. I have Harbor Freight grommets. I'm going to drill the hole into the can and stick that grommet in there. Stick this through. And tie the wire here, and I think this wire was 5.7 ohms, so per foot, so 5.7, 12 divided by 5.7 was something like 2 amps or something, that's what I want, I don't want this shit at 5 amps, well that's what I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for about 2 amps across the wire, don't have the baby oil yet, but I'm just taking a picture of what's going on, I got the grommet, the bigger, the bigger grommet, I'll drill a hole in the side of the can, put this grommet in, and then these will screw into the grommet and seal. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do for the um, the blower side. This is to bring air in. One to two PSI in. Then I have to find a valve for the output. I don't want to use another one of these, even though they're cheap, but I get a hose that goes over this. Alright, so that's where I'm at for right now. And then I have a bunch of cans I can use. A bunch of old ass metal cans. I was thinking of using a smaller one. I was thinking to use a small can like this. But I guess then the the wick, the wire will be too short. Unless you can wrap it around more. Anyway, this is the process. We'll see what I do. Okay, that's one foot across 12 volts. One, and a two, and a three, a four, and a five. That's good enough. <clears throat> okay, so all my old paint cans are actually plastic and have paint in them, so I can't really use them. I was going to use another plastic can, nah, but I realize it's too small. The heat will probably end up overtaking it. Probably. We don't know. So, went to Home Depot, bought a can, $5, I think it was, and what we're going to do... So we're going to screw holes, we're going to screw holes side to side, put the wrap in, and then we're going to screw holes opposing for air in and air out on the other side. So the air blows across the wick and out. We're not putting anything through the top cover. That doesn't make sense. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I use this. Build in there, and I'm going to be putting one of these in there. But first, I have to knock those burrs down. I did it on. Uh, I did it on that side. I hit it with a hammer a couple of times. Hit it with a screwdriver, but um. Actually, I did that one half the size and started hitting it and then really needed the whole bigger, which made it easier. All right, so you just got to knock those burrs down. I basically went in with a hammer and just hammered them. Hammer, 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 hammer. It's thin metal. It doesn't take much. But see, now it's opened the hole back up. So I will put this back in there. Throw them out again, and they should be okay inside. 
Hmm. What should we put in there? I think we're running on now. Other items I bought were these. I'm probably going to use that one there. Or that one. I really needed these to fix a windshield wiper on a car to bypass. I really just needed that one. But advance and all the other ones just sell these a multi-pack so win-win it's always good to have extra of these online and then nobody sells this damn hose apparently you want the clear stuff so i got this at home depot um the 10 foot was 350 and the 20 foot was 650 they were all out of 10 foot so i bought 20 foot eh. i always can use extra hose Broski. Okay, so I have, it doesn't look like I have enough windings across the wick. I only see three. <laughs> and that's the air that's going to come in. And that's the air that's going to go out. That's jammed in here. I mean, I might have to seal these things, maybe not. This is one power. Negative positive doesn't matter because we're just doing a dead short across a piece of wire. Here's the other one. So, no reason to put holes in the top of this. It doesn't even make any sense. You know, the air below past the wick and out. Well, that's my. Let's give it a try. Where's my baby? All right, let's give this a test. I thought three windings wasn't going to be enough, but you know what? <laughs> I've already tested this. There we go. Three 12 volts connected on there. And we see that. Oh, let me turn on the light. <laughs> That's got to be enough smoke. You would think that's got to be enough. Just a little bit of baby oil at the bottom. I got to bend that other side over so it's deeper in the oil, like like that one, that whole flap. Come on, that's got to be enough. That's a lot of smoke. That there lady is your smoker. Disconnected it by the way. Still smoking. I wonder how long it's gonna smoke for. I certainly hope I didn't set anything out on fire in there. <laughs> Jeez, how long is it going to smoke for? Thank mm -hmm. you.
me turning off the valve completely. <laughs> 